Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making four shebe recipes for hair and scalp. When combined with cream or oil, shebe powder can lubricate the strands to help strengthen them and prevent breakage. This encourages length retention and which is why you see a lot of the women from chat with extremely long hair. So today I will be showing you four different ways to use shebe in some DIY recipes. The first recipe is a Shebe hair tea. This can be used as a hair rinse or as a spritz to moisturize your hair. All you need is one tablespoon of Shebe powder, one to one and a half cups of hot water, Make sure you stir it well. Then cover and steep for just about 10 minutes. Once most of the shebe powder has settled to the bottom, go ahead and strain the tea. To remove as much shebe powder as possible, be sure not to strain all of the mixture. Now your Shebe tea is ready to use. Use it as a rinse or as a spritz to moisturize your hair. Store it in the refrigerator for up to a week. The second recipe is a Shebe in Abunu natural shampoo. All you need is Abunu leaves, Shebe powder, and hot water. Abunu has saponins that helps to cleanse the hair and scalp of dirt, oil, and other debris. This natural shampoo also has a lot of slip. The mucilage is super slippery, helping you to detangle your hair. To make this natural shampoo, you'll need one tablespoon of Shebe powder, two tablespoons of Abunu leaves, and one to one and a half cups of hot water. Mix it well and let it steep for just about 10 minutes. Once it's done steeping, you want to use your hands to gently massage the abunu leaves. This is going to help to further release the mucilage from the abunu leaves. This is what's gonna give your shampoo so much slip and help with detangling. Strain the mixture using a cheesecloth. Be sure to squeeze out all of the mucilage. This is what's gonna give your shampoo the slip which is gonna moisturize your hair and make it easier to detangle. And then you wanna put it in a container. I put mine in a pump bottle and you can store it in the refrigerator for up to a week. But honestly, I like making small batches for one time use. You can apply a bunu to wet or dry hair. Massage it into the length of your hair and detangle. You can also massage it into your scalp, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then rinse off thoroughly. Abunu does provide moisturizing and conditioning properties, but if you want a little bit more conditioning, you can definitely follow up with a conditioner and a good moisturizer. This is a natural shampoo, so it doesn't give you a lot of bubbles and foam, but I did test it out in a foaming bottle. I do not recommend storing it in a foaming bottle because it's too thick, but I did want to put it in a foaming bottle just so you guys can see that it does foam up and give you some suds for cleansing. The next recipe is a Shebe in a Bunu gel. This is basically using the natural Abunu and Shebe shampoo and placing it into a aloe vera gel base. This is gonna give it even more moisturizing and healing properties for your scalp. And also it's just easier to apply to your scalp in this form. To make the Shebe aloe gel, all you'll need is two tablespoons of aloe vera base. I'm using aloe thick or you can use regular natural aloe vera gel. It would just have a looser consistency. Next, you wanna add three tablespoons of the Shebe Inabunu extract, or you can use just the Shebe tea. 
Mix this up until it's a smooth consistency and then you can store it into a jar. I place this in the refrigerator for up to a week or you can add a preservative to extend the shelf life. You can use this as a treatment and wash it out or you can leave it in as a moisturizer. If you don't want to use the Abuno, you can use just the Shave Tea. Last but not least is our fourth recipe, which is the Shebe hair paste. All you need is a cream base, Shebe powder, and your choice of essential oil. To make the paste, you need two tablespoons of Shebe powder. Now you need three tablespoons of your preferred moisturizing cream. I'm using my homemade Shebe cream. Mix these together to form a paste or a hair mask that you can apply directly to the length of your hair. You can leave it on in a protective style or you can rinse it out. Please avoid your scalp. The Shebe powder can be irritating to your scalp and cause dandruff, so you want to avoid your scalp when using Shebe powder directly. This hair paste or hair mask closely resembles the traditional way of using Shebe powder. You usually add it to equal parts cream and oil and apply it directly to your hair and then you will do a protective style like braids. Keep the paste in and every three to four days you will repeat this process. I personally prefer to use my hair paste as a hair mask and rinse it out thoroughly after 20 to 30 minutes. Since my Shebe cream already has a preservative, adding the Shebe powder will not do much harm. I'm going to place this in a jar without a preservative. You can leave it at room temperature or store it in the refrigerator. And that's all for recipes. Before we end the video, I would like to give a thank you to our sponsor Skillshare. Most of you know Skillshare for classes in photography, film and editing, videos, and much more. But did you know Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? The new year is the perfect time to reinvent your goals and yourself. As a content creator and crafter of handmade hair and skincare products, I am constantly looking to take my skills to the next level, especially starting this new year. To build upon my creative voice and style, I'm taking several classes to support my career goals. No goal is too small. Whether you're looking for financial stability or looking to be your own boss, Skillshare teachers will take you step by step to launch your merchandise on a new platform like Etsy or Shopify or teach you to attract the right clients. If you're looking to diversify your income or earn passive income, check out this class by Tiffany Emery. She is a seven-figure Etsy seller and business coach. Tiffany takes you step by step through the ins and outs of Etsy, even shows you how to launch your Etsy shop. So what are you waiting for? The first 1,000 people will get one month free to explore Skillshare. If you like this video, I have plenty more Chevy recipes to share with you guys. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you like to see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the next videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.